may have been stripped of some of their basic rights, but not all. Later this year, inmates at Pretoria's underwater prison, just like others across South Africa, will have a say in who leads the country. Under close watch by electoral staff, some lined up to be registered for the first time, others to update their details. Many say they appreciate getting the chance. I've got a chance to do something of myself here in prison. Not to say I didn't have it outside, but here in prison it's much more better because we are focused now and you can see where we are going in life. So yeah, that's voting. It's, I think it will help and it will make a big difference in our community. This week, electoral staff visited 240 correctional centers to register inmates. While the number of prisoners who have registered to vote is yet to be confirmed, the Electoral Commission is hoping that at least 100,000 prisoners will vote, up from 15,000 in 2019. Some of the convicts already know what they want from the country's next Minister of Justice. Whoever is going to be in charge afterwards, like you are Minister of uh, Correctional Service and Justice, he needs to change quite a few things. We, the way our courts are operating, Sometimes it does frustrate us. If you are writing an appeal, it takes so long to get back. They take so long to get back to you. South Africa has one of the highest crime rates in the world and is estimated to have 157,000 inmates in its correctional facilities. For the South African nation, a 1999 landmark court ruling afforded inmates a right to take part in the democratic process for the first time. South Africans living abroad too have a right to vote. The whole country is a single constituency. Whether they are here at Sonnerwater or they are in Johannesburg um, 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 Maximum Prison or elsewhere in the country, they are within the, the constituency that is called South Africa. You will recall that last weekend we had registration taking place um, outside of the Republic, admissions at South African missions there, because by definition, every one of our missions outside of the Republic is South African territory. President Cyril Ramaphosa is yet to announce election dates, but when he does, they promise to be highly contested polls. The governing African National Congress will face one of its toughest races yet. Some opinion polls indicate the party may dip below 50% electoral support for the first time since coming into power in 1994. Ian Kinyo, CGTN.